Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining Tech with Terrence. Um, so I just want to do this quick video real quick. I've got a few uh, comments um, on my course careers video that I posted. Um, so today I just wanted to do a quick video on course careers again uh, by Josh Matacor. Um, so I took course careers by Josh, Josh Matacor, the information technology course. Um, I took that probably uh, last year. And so this is kind of like a yearly update of where, where I am now and just kind of what I have going on. Um, so just jumping right into it. So when I took the uh, course careers course information technology, um, it probably took me a few weeks to complete the course. It was an awesome course. Um, I learned how to do Active Directory. Um, I learned how to work in, inside of the uh, Microsoft Azure cloud, which was pretty cool. And um, basically, I just gained some skills that I just didn't have. So uh, taking the course, it, it was a great idea because it kind of helped me to um, get a refresher in IT. It helped me to gain skills that I didn't have before. Um, so after I took the course, um, I did start applying to jobs like immediately and I applied to like three or four, uh, different jobs. Actually, I applied to, it's like, it like close to maybe 50 or 60 going on to like a hundred jobs. Uh, I basically, um, filled out this Excel sheet and, um, you know, the jobs that I applied for in LinkedIn, I would just, uh, simply just, uh, you know, write that down inside the Excel sheet, uh, just so I can kind of keep track of them and just jobs I applied on Indeed, I applied on, um, Emma, uh, just different job sites. I, I just applied for different jobs and I put them inside of an Excel sheet so I can keep track of them, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so after I did that, um, of course, I got a few people that called me back and I got a few job, uh, interviews, which was pretty cool. Um, I would definitely have to say course careers helped me to create a, uh, a resume and it helped me to kind of just um, know how to organize my resume. As you know, inside of course careers, uh, in the information technology course, they actually give you a uh, resume template that helps you to create your resume. So I actually used that. And yes, it definitely it, it worked uh, because, um, like I said, I got those interviews after I took the course. Um, what I decided to do was, um, some of the jobs that I was offered, I didn't get a few jobs. Well, I didn't get any job offers. However, um, I got people to call me back, but, and I, and I did the interview, but, um, I just decided like during those interviews, like the jobs that I didn't get, um, it just kind of helped me to realize that maybe I should just go and uh, continue my school and education. So that's what I decided to do. Um, it's not that course careers didn't help me get a job, um, and it's not that 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 course by Josh Matacor didn't help me be prepared for another job or be prepared. Um, but it was just simply that I just decided that I wanted to do something else um, by taking course careers. It was a great step. I'm glad that I took the course. Um, like I say, I did gain skills that I didn't have before, but everybody's path in IT is different. And so by me taking the course, it just kind of helped me realize that I want to continue my schooling and education. Um, the job interviews that I got uh, were basically basically just for help desk or IT support. Uh, however, I, I wanted to um, just get a little bit more um, credentials under my name just so I could get past like the HR barrier uh, when I apply for different jobs. So I decided to go uh, continue my degree. I do have an associate's degree in cybersecurity um, and I was pursuing that degree while I was taking the course careers course. But um, I just kind of just decided just after applying to uh, so many different jobs that I want to uh, continue my education, just kind of continue my learning. So I decided to go to WGU, which is pretty cool, which is an online college. And I just decided to um, pursue uh, cloud computing and just get a bachelor's in that. That way um, I can learn a little bit more about the cloud uh, through the degree program. I can learn uh, actually earn like a whole bunch of different certs like A+, uh, Network+, Plus, Security+. Plus. I think uh, there's uh, some cloud certs in there. There's a Linux uh, cert in there. So um, just kind of continuing my education. But just to answer the, uh, the question uh, to the guy in the comment uh, earlier, course careers, it was awesome. Um, I feel like I needed course careers. It helped me to learn information that I didn't have, and it helped me to be a better IT professional just by taking the course. So um, that's it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick video just to let you guys know uh, what life after course careers is like. And would I take the course again? If I could do it over again, yeah, I I'd take it over again. But um, if you, any of you guys are on the fence about taking course careers or you're not too sure if it's something that you want to do, make sure that you uh, just look up all of the uh, other videos on YouTube. There's tons of videos on, on uh, course careers. 
And me specifically, I took the uh, IT information, the information technology course. And like I say, uh, I learned a lot. It was great. And um, don't be on the fence, though. You know, do your research, but don't take too long to decide. Just make a decision and stick with it. And, um, you know, as you go through the course, you may like it or you may figure out that you don't like it. Um, like I say, it was only about $500 when I took the course. I'm not too sure how much it is now, but it was only $500. So, um, yeah, just try and see if you like it. I liked it. Um, it was cheap, and so it was affordable, so I'm glad that I took it. But I just wanted to say uh, I appreciate, appreciate you guys for tuning in, and uh, you guys have a good day. Uh, good luck in your IT career. Bye.